Hello students, uh, this video is uh, about the nozzles and it is the part of the unit 4th of applied thermodynamics as per the AKTU syllabus. So uh, the, uh, the first important thing is to know about is uh, what is a nozzle. Uh, as you can see here also, uh, uh, a nozzle is uh, basically that device uh, in which the cross-sectional area of uh, uh, the device reduces from the entry point to the exit point. That is, if this is the entry point, uh, let us suppose that it is 1, 1 and let us suppose this is 2, that is the exit point. So, between these two points, the flow of any fluid takes place and the cross-sectional area reduces. That is, if you see the cross-sectional area of this portion, it is much greater than the cross-sectional area of this portion. Alright. So, this is basically a nozzle. And what is a diffuser? A diffuser is uh, just, you can say, the opposite of a nozzle in which the uh, at the entry point, the cross-sectional area is less whereas at the exit point, the cross-sectional area is more. So uh, basically, nozzle is a is a, is a, is a flow passage in which the cross sectional area reduces and uh, the velocity of the fluid increases while passing through the nozzle and the pressure uh, decreases or drops at the exit. So at this point in the nozzle, the velocity that would have been at point one would be increased and the pressure will be dropped whereas in case of diffuser the, the 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 velocity at the entry point is more and velocity reduces here as you can see uh, p is uh, p represents the pressure and uh, c represents the velocity of the fluid here uh, the the c2 that means the velocity at point 2 is more if we compare it with the velocity at point 1 that is the entry point whereas in case of diffuser the exit point that is c2 here the velocity is less if we compare the velocity of the entry point that is c1 whereas the pressure in case of nozzle at the exit point it is less that means the pressure drops while the fluid leaves the nozzle whereas in case of diffuser the pressure increases at point 2 and the pressure is less if we compare it with point 1 so i think uh, the basic uh, difference between nozzle and diffuser is uh, cleared from this concept uh, and uh, one more thing that uh, nozzle is used in like turbines, jet engines, injectors, ejectors. These are the places that uh, nozzles are used. One more thing, the enthalpy of the fluid decreases while uh, the fluid is uh, leaving the nozzle. And uh, if you compare it with the Newton's law, then the resultant force F will be equals to the, uh, the, 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 the difference between the momentums of uh, the, uh, uh, the momentum at two points. That is the entry point and the exit point. This is the entry point and this is the exit point. The momentum, uh, the difference of the momentum gives you the resultant force that is F. Uh, you have also studied in the continuity equation, uh, we have studied it in the thermodynamics and also in the start of the applied thermodynamics uh, that uh, the momentum, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, according to the continuity equation at a steady state or you can say the m2 dash will be equals to m1 dash that we have studied in the continuity question so if we see here 
the formula for the resultant force then will be if we if we take m2 dash is equals to m1 dash is equals to let us suppose it is equals to m dash so if we check this formula of the resultant force then it becomes m dash c2 minus c1 where c2 minus c1 is the velocity difference of the entry and the exit point of the nozzle so this is the basic uh, uh, you can say the concept about what is a nozzle and how the flow takes place in the nozzle there are certain types of the nozzles that we will be studying and the 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 first topic that is in the syllabus of the applied thermodynamics as per the aktu of the fourth unit it is the uh, the flow through convergent and convergent divergent nozzle which will be studying on later on so you keep practicing uh, the or you keep uh, study with the uh, the ongoing nozzle chapter will be taking it in the next video for on just give it a, a a a glimpse of what is a nozzle i think it was helpful to you and keep studying and we will and wait for the next video for the continuation of the nozzle and yeah some of the things in this video were taken from the book of omkar omkar applied thermodynamics so that's all for uh, this video we will be discussing uh, the next uh, of the resultant force uh, that uh, how the flow takes place in the convergent and divergent nozzles for now on i think this is uh, what is uh, a nozzle is okay thank you students